Hello everyone, this is Ernesto with Aftershoot and today we have a very special video for you guys. So at the time of recording this video, Aftershoot Edits 2.0 has been out for quite a while and people have really been enjoying AI editing. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna edit the same photo using two of my own personal AI profiles and I'm also gonna use some profiles that our creators have on Aftershoot Marketplace so you guys can see how one image can give out different results depending on the editing style we decide to use all within Aftershoot. Let's go straight to it. So this is the image we're gonna use. I shot this when I was doing the behind the scenes for a sports clothing brand photo shoot. I wasn't the main photographer. As you can see, there's a lens here uh, on the side of the photo. That was the main photographer. And the photo is slightly underexposed. Otherwise I would have lost the detail in her shoes and then her skin was uh, reflecting the sun. So yeah, that's what we're gonna start with. So the first style I'm gonna use is one I've created for when I shoot conferences, events, concerts, basically any situation in which I don't wanna change the environment too much. I want the colors to stay true to themselves, but I do like images very punchy and very contrasty. So you are going to see that in this style. So let's go ahead and see it. So that's uh, the original image. And this is my style. It's called Estilo Ernesto, which translates to Ernesto style. I know, very creative. So this one, as you can already see, is the one I use when I wanna deliver images that are true to themselves when it comes to colors. It is very punchy, like I told you, it's very contrasty uh, with absolute blacks and bright colors. And again, I only use this one when I don't wanna change it uh, too much. Let's say I'm shooting for a brand and it's a clothing brand and I don't wanna change the colors too much because it's gonna go to the website and they, don't, they, they have to have everything as close to reality as possible. So I would go for this style in that kind of situation. But say I wanna get more artistic. Say I wanna shoot some lifestyle, something more urban, something where I can get a little more creative. In that case, I have a style that I've created, it's called street style, and it looks like this. So this one, as you can already see, is definitely different from my basic style. Uh, I use it when I want my images to have a very artistic look, if you can use the word. Um, the tones are a little more faded, you can see the blues are a little more towards the teal side, and the contrast of the photo is, is very low. I would use it if I'm shooting something lifestyle related, if someone's going around the city, if I wanted to have a vintage look. Uh, like I said, this is my more artistic kind of style. Now let's check some styles we have in Aftershoot Marketplace that have been put there by our creators. So this is the original photo and now we have Joy Zamora's journal style. So this one's inspired by Joy's many trips around the world, shooting weddings and different things. The colors are soft and elegant and the feel of the image is definitely kind of cinematic. It's not too exaggerated though, um, the photo still feels natural, but you can surely tell this is, um, I don't know, a Joy Samora kind of edit. Again, you can get this and many other profiles if you go into Aftershoot Marketplace within the Aftershoot software. Let's go to the next one. So this one's by Esteban Gil, Esteban Hill. I'm sorry, I'm, I might be killing your name. Um, this is his profile, Leo, and it's inspired by his love for iconic movies. As you can see, the greens are soft, the mood is gentle, and you can definitely see there's some grain added to the image. The colors are a bit more saturated, but not too much. They, they don't look too manipulated. And of course, the white balance is definitely on point. Now, of course, you have to take into consideration that many of these profiles were created for a specific purpose, maybe wedding photography, or like I told you, mines for basic concert events and conferences. So when you're looking into Aftershoot Marketplace and deciding what profiles you wanna use for your next edits, you gotta check uh, the description and what the artist or art creators decided these profiles are based on. So let's see the next one. So this one's Lily Red's profile. It's definitely a little warmer than the ones we've seen. The colors are still vibrant and, and robust, and the feel of the image is in general a little more editorial, if, if that's something I can say. Uh, I also feel like the photo has the right amount of contrast here, like not too much and not too little. So yeah, the photo looks amazing. And finally, what would Aftershoot be without Justin Benson? He has his own profiles also within Aftershoot Marketplace. And today we're gonna check how this photo looks with the founder's style. Let's see it. So here we have the original image and here we applied the founder's style. So Justin tends to underexpose a little bit his photos in order to preserve uh, the highlights and then he can bring them back to life. So maybe that's why this uh, style works perfectly with this photo because this photo was slightly underexposed like I explained in the beginning. 
um, the image definitely regained brightness. The colors are true to themselves. The contrast is perfect. And uh, I think this one really looks great. So there you go. That's six different AI styles that we've used to edit different images. Most of these styles you can find inside of Aftershoot Marketplace within the Aftershoot software. So maybe you have an upcoming wedding, an event, a concert, a photo shoot, whatever it is, you can go into Aftershoot Marketplace and I'm sure you're gonna find something that suits your needs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us in all of our social media so you can always be up to date with what's new in Aftershoot and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.